Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Simple and Easy Zoology. Before starting this session, I want to thank everyone who have subscribed, liked, viewed and shared my first video which was on plasma membrane. Thank you everyone. So in this series of video tutorial, I am going to talk about the function of plasma membrane. So without much delay, let's start this session. You know that the plasma membrane acts as a barrier. So apart from acting as a barrier, plasma membrane also performs many other functions. So we'll discuss all those functions one by one. So the first function is permeability. As the name indicates, permeability means which allows or which permits. So it allows what? It allows the exchange of material in and out of the cell. Or it permits the movement of molecules or the substances into the cell and out of the cell. And all those substances which have the capacity to pass through the plasma membrane is called as permeant molecules. And these permeant molecules can be gas, water, nutrients, carbohydrate, proteins, ions, minerals, etc. Anyhow, all these permeant molecules cannot easily pass through the plasma membrane. There are many factors which determine the exchange of this permeant molecule across the plasma membrane. So, now we will discuss the main three factors which determines the exchange of this permeant molecule. So, the first one is size. Size of the permeant molecule. Second one, concentration gradient. Again of permeant molecule. And third one, polarity. Polarity of permeant molecule. So we will discuss the meaning of all these three. You know that the plasma membrane is made up of lipid bilayer, isn't it? So if I draw a rough diagram of plasma membrane here, it looks somewhat like this. So it is made up of two layers of lipid molecules. And these lipid molecules are not compactly arranged. So there will be gap between each adjacent lipid molecules. So these permeant molecules of smaller size, they can easily move in or out of the cell just by passing through this gap which is present between the lipid molecule. So since it is very small, it can easily pass through this gap. On the other hand, if the permeant molecule is of large size, it cannot be passed through this small gap which is present between this lipid molecule. So one can conclude the smaller the size, easier the movement. So that is regarding size of the permeant molecule. So second one, concentration gradient. In a given time, the concentration of different molecules will be different in and out of the cell. So let's imagine the concentration of oxygen molecules. So, say about 20 molecules of oxygen is present outside the cell and 3 molecules of oxygen inside the cell. So, obviously, the oxygen will move from region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration and vice versa is not possible naturally. So, from this, one can conclude that all permeant molecules will move along the concentration gradient but not against the concentration gradient naturally or easily. Okay, That is regarding concentration gradient of a permeant molecule. So third factor is polarity. You know that the plasma membrane is made up of lipid molecule and all the lipid molecules are amphipathic in nature. What do you mean by amphipathic? Amphipathic means the one which has both polar and non-polar region. So, the non-polar region of the plasma membrane is major here when it is compared to polar molecule. So, the permeant molecules which are non-polar, they can easily make friendship with the non-polar region of the plasma membrane. So, after doing friendship, it can easily pass through the plasma membrane. On the other hand, the polar molecule, they cannot make friendship with the non-polar part of the plasma membrane. So, they must remain outside. So, they have to remain outside. So, they cannot enter the plasma membrane easily. Okay, that is regarding the polarity of the permeant molecule. So, this is about the permeability. So, based on this permeability, there are mainly five types of plasma membrane. First one is permeable membrane. Impermeable membrane, semi-permeable membrane, selectively permeable membrane 
and dialyzing plasma membrane. We'll discuss all this type one by one. So first one permeable membrane. As the name indicates permeable means which permits. So this can be compared to a situation of fair or jatre of a temple. So in a jatre what happens? Everyone can come. So there is no restriction. So anyone can be a part of fair of a temple. In a similar way this permeable membrane will allow everything to enter in. There is no restriction. So the best example for this permeable membrane is cell wall of the plant cell. The cell wall of the plant cell will allow everything. Imagine this is a cell wall. So it allows every molecules to enter in irrespective of its size and other criteria. So it allows everything to pass through it. Okay. So cell wall allows water, nutrient, gases, everything to pass through it. That is regarding permeable membrane. Second one is impermeable plasma membrane. So this is just opposite to the permeable membrane. And this can be compared to a situation when you are upset. So what happens when you are upset? You want to isolate yourself. You want to lock yourself in a room. And you don't want to mingle with anyone. So you don't want anyone to enter into your room. In a similar way, this impermeable plasma membrane will not allow any substances to enter in or out of the cell. So it doesn't mean that the cell is upset but all the material which is required for the metabolic activity of that particular cell it will be present inside the cell itself. So it need not to purchase anything from the outside. Okay. The best example for this impermeable plasma membrane is unfertilized egg of the fish. So even though that fish egg is present inside the water, it does not allow the exchange of any material in and out of the cell except for the gaseous exchange. Okay. So third one is semi-permeable plasma membrane. As the name indicates, semi means half. Okay. So this can be compared to a situation of marriage function. Who and all come to marriage function? Only the invited people will come. So everyone won't come to the marriage function. Only invited people will come. In a similar way, only certain molecule can pass through this plasma membrane. So it may be like gases, water molecules, small molecules can easily pass through the membrane. And it is mainly based on the size of the molecule. So larger molecules or charged particles or polar molecules, they cannot pass. So as I told in this, larger molecules cannot pass through the uh, plasma membrane. Okay, So that is regarding semi-permeable plasma membrane. As you can see here, large molecules are too big to pass through the membrane, whereas small molecules have free movement. The example for this semi-permeable plasma membrane is plasma membrane of root cells in the plant. So next type is selectively permeable plasma membrane. So this can be compared to the situation of private dinner party or your birthday party or even it can be compared to a marriage function during COVID-19 where only selected people will come. So you select the best friends among your friends and closest relatives among your relatives and you invite them for the function. In a similar way, the cell will select the substances and it allows it to pass through it. So based on which the cell will select? Based on the need. So if particular substance is needed for the metabolic activity of the cell or if it is required to perform certain function, so cell will allow only those substances to enter in or out of the cell. Okay. The best example for this selectively permeable plasma membrane is nuclear membrane. So where the nuclear membrane is present? It is present around the nucleus and it separates cytoplasm from the nucleoplasm, isn't it? So if all the substance which is present in the cytoplasm are allowed to enter into the nucleoplasm, it may damage the DNA. So to avoid that, this nuclear membrane will allow only certain substances which is required by the nucleus. So that is all about the selectively permeable plasma membrane. And the last one is dialyzing plasma membrane. So the plasma membrane of certain cells have extraneous coat around them. The example for that is endothelial cells. This endothelial cells have basement membrane below that. So the plasma membrane of endothelial cells and the basement membrane act as a dialyzer. So water and the crystalloid particles are allowed to pass through this plasma membrane with the aid of hydrostatic force. Thereby it acts as a dialyzer. So the name came dialyzing plasma membrane. 
So I hope you got the difference between all these five types of plasma membrane which is based on the permeability. So that is all about the permeability function which is performed by the plasma membrane. So in the next video I will be discussing about the other functions of plasma membrane. I hope you like this video. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.